Advanced Polygon Collider. This is an extreme explaining tutorial. We are inside Unity. In the Asset Store, there is a free asset called Advanced Polygon Collider. Download it to your project and import it. And when you have done so, you will get this folder. Advanced Polygon Collider. Inside, there will be a README file. Let's look at that file. It states the requirements. The most important one is this one. Your textures must be set to read-write. Let's go to our sprites folder and select the stone sprite. If we look in the inspector, you can see that I have read-write enabled. And this is important that you do so. What I've also done is to choose full rect on the mesh type and also set compression to none. Make sure to apply these settings by clicking on the apply button. Let's now drag the stone sprite to the hierarchy and adjust the size in the scene view. If we now go to the inspector and add a component and write call, we can see that we have a lot of colliders to choose from. And we see that advanced polygon collider is one possibility. But you can also use box collider, capsule collider, circle collider and so on. But the one that we are interested in this tutorial is the polygon collider. And Unity has its own Polygon Collider 2D. Let's begin by choosing that one. And let's click on the Edit Collider so we can see the boundary. What if we want to change the polygon? You can drag the individual vertices, but that is tedious. However, if we add Advanced Polygon Collider, we can see that we have both Polygon Collider 2D and Advanced Polygon Collider. And you must have both of them. If you look at the Advanced Polygon Collider, we see a slider called Threshold. Dragging this slider allows us to change the polygon. In my case, I will set it to the value of 11. And there is a scale slider, which we also can drag to adjust the size of a polygon. So Advanced Polygon Collider gives us more options for customizing our polygon. Let's now deactivate our stone game object. Because we want to show the second thing you can do with Advanced Polygon Collider. This time we will look at an animation. Here we have an animation of a parrot consisting of 14 images. If we select all the images, we can see that we have read-write enabled. This we must have in order for the Advanced Polygon Collider to work, as we have mentioned earlier. I've also selected full drag and compression to none. Let's drag the parrot images to the hierarchy and it will ask me for an animation name. I will call it Parrot and save it in the animation folder. Now if I go to the animation tab, I should be able to play the animation. Stop. Let's now go to Add Components and Add Polygon Collider 2D. Let's look at it. And here we have the polygon. Now let's play. And as you can see, the polygon is static. It does not fit very well to the animation images. You can fix this with Advanced Polygon Collider. Stop. Add Component, Advanced Polygon Collider. You can see that the polygon has changed. 
and we can tweak the threshold. And then you see something called editor cache. The size right now is 0, but we want it to be 14, one for each image in our animation. Click on the use cache and then play the animation. And as you can see, the cache size is now 14. And you can see that it has created one custom polygon for each animation image. Stop. Now we want to run this using the play mode. What is important is to click away Edit Collider. Because if you don't do that, you will get a lot of error messages. The different polygons are there even if you don't see them, as long as the cache size is not zero. Let's now test that the collisions work with these dynamic polygons. The first thing to do is to set the isTrigger flag. Also add a rigid body 2D component and make it kinematic. This is in order to make the parrot be able to collide with other objects. Now let's activate the stone and move it so that it will collide with parrot wings only when the wings are up. Let's now add a script to the stone. In the scripts folder there is a stone script. Drag it to the stone game object. What this script does is when the onTrigger enter 2D event happens, then it just prints the word collision. Let's go back to our scene. Click on the play button. And as you can see, each time the wings touch the stone, the collision is printed. So it works. That's it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Thank <laughs> you.